Today is a big step for the way station in depopulation, and we have placed two of our lionesses at Wildcat Sanctuary in Oregon. And we're actually in the process today. We loaded them up without any sort of medication. We've been working on them getting into transport crates. They got in great. And we're gonna load them up on the trailer and get to their new home where they can run on grass and be in large outdoor enclosures with someone who specializes just in big cats. So this is Chobi and Kariba, who are two female African lionesses. They came in from a pretty horrific place in Oklahoma about a year and a half ago and I've had the privilege of caring for them since then. And today they're leaving for their new home in Oregon at Wildcat Ridge Sanctuary where they're gonna share a big open enclosure together and get great care for the rest of their lives. These two lionesses, like many of the animals at the way station, you know, are part of a dying industry, which is the illegal breeding or the proliferation of, of big cats. And we were lucky enough to bring them here. We got them healthy, strong, ready to go. Wildcat Sanctuary stepped in and offered them a lifetime home. So the way station is becoming a way station where we're centered on what's best for the animal. And for these two girls being in a huge outdoor enclosure and having a little creek running through it and running in the tall grass is what's important. So these girls are leaving the way station along with some other animals from our group here. Um, over the next six to 12 months, we're gonna try and rehome a significant proportion of the population here because there are a lot of sanctuary spaces around the country where we can offer better enclosure space. Uh, we have great care here, they get good veterinary care, but we don't have a lot of room for them. And especially for our younger and growing animals, it's important that they have room to move, not just for their physical health, but for their psychological and emotional health as well. We're finding forever homes for many of the residents here, and in that process, we're also making kind of a transition uh, to California native wildlife. And it's great to know that we're making decisions based solely on what's best for the animal.